clarify, I think I always wanted to be a cancer biologist. I felt very affected by people in my own family or close friends of the family who had been affected by cancer. My primary focus is in treating patients with gastrointestinal cancers, and this can include cancers of the colon, rectum, pancreas, and other digestive organs. Many of these cancers are just very difficult to treat. The cancers find a way to evolve and still come back. The objective of this trial is to produce cures in patients who have cancers that otherwise are not curable. We're using checkpoint cell therapy as a novel strategy and tactic, leveraging advances in biotechnology over the last several years. We are hoping that this form of therapy through this trial will be the next wave, the next generation of a type of cell therapy that will be able to produce those cures. Most other approaches to treating cancers, classic ones like chemotherapies, are going to go after the tumor as a medication to kill the cancer. Many chemotherapies have off-target consequences. Uh, they'll damage healthy tissue and cells as well. The idea behind the cell therapy is the cell is going to go in. It's being taken from tumor samples, meaning it knows how to get to the tumor. And it's novel in that this has never been done before. We have our immune system, which we typically think about as its main job is killing pathogens, but actually one of the big roles that the immune system plays is detecting cells that may be becoming cancerous and eliminating those. Tumors actually have a lot of what we call immune infiltration. The immune cells in our body will actually go into the tumor, and sometimes they work well against the cancer cells and sometimes they do not. There are these T cells stuck within the tumor. They're trying their best, but they're not winning the battle. And those are so-called TIL, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. Really, these TIL are there trying to eradicate the cancer, but they can't quite overcome the suppressive nature of the cancer cells. We need to further modify these or engineer these, train them new ways to avoid the suppression by the cancer cells. For our clinical trial, we're deploying the CRISPR-Cas9 system, and we've designed it in a specific way to identify a gene called CISH. And once it identifies it in the TIL cells, it removes that gene, thereby increasing the T-cell function for cancer immunotherapy. What we found is that if you eliminate CISH, these T-cells now are able to recognize tumors that they weren't able to recognize before and mount very potent responses. In the case of this trial here, we're using autologous cells, so they're the patient's own lymphocytes that we're basically modifying to make them better killers of the tumor. The currently available therapies are, are, are not able to, to match the expectations and hopes of inducing a cure, but this trial holds that promise. The novel TIL cancer immunotherapy has shown tremendous promises. It's the next generation of something that's already so amazing that could lead to durable cures for many patients with solid tumors. The real goal would be able to teach the immune system, give it that advantage to be able to go in and tip those scales, get rid of the cancer without a lot of the really harsh side effects that patients often have to endure. If we can really use this technology to re-energize the immune system, to allow a patient's own immune system to attack the cancer effectively, our hope is that that would be able to have the cancers not just shrink, but hopefully go away completely.